Hello, so it's an equivalent circuit of a photodiode. So we can model various components of a photodiode. You see here, this is the current through the photodiode can be modeled with a constant current source that is your IPH, that's the photodiode current, which is a function of a time. So it's not a constant current source, we can model it with a time varying current source. Then RD represents uh, the reverse uh, bias resistance of a diode when the we know that the photodiode is a PN junction biased in a reverse voltage case. So P is connected to the negative and N is connected to the positive. That's why and that's why it conducts a current. So RD indicates the reverse uh, the resistance in a reverse bias. CD indicates the junction capacitance of the diode. RS is the series resistance of the diode. So these are all components uh, through which you can model the photodiode circuit. And now if you look at the circuit from across these two terminal output with the output open you get an impedance Z. So Z can be written as you see RS. Let me write it uh, Z. So Z is the impedance here and it is equal, e equal to RS plus a parallel combination of uh, RD into 1 over J omega CD divided by rd plus 1 over j omega cd so this is how you can compute or calculate uh, impedance of this network of the photodiode circuit now we know that this current i that gets flown through the rd the flown through the capacitor and then there it flows through rl and when you connected a load RL across the output terminal, you will have the output voltage across the resistance. So that voltage would be proportional to the input current IPH. So you can simply apply the KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, Ohm's law, to calculate various currents and the voltages into this circuit. So just apply that rule and you will get that value.